Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my December TBR. I'm really excited to share with you guys all of the books that I hope, and I say that with emphasis, hope <laughs> to read during the month of December. And I say that just because I feel like my goal for the amount of books that I want to read in December is a pretty lofty goal because we are going to be traveling for the holidays and things like that. But I have basically like pre-filmed all of my videos for the month of December for that exact reason and because of traveling and things and therefore I don't have to actually focus on filming on my days off. So I'm hoping that instead of filming I can be reading. That's where my mind is going. So I have 12 books that I want to read for the 12th month of the year. That was not intentional, but it just happened. So let's go ahead and talk about all of them. So I'm gonna start with fantasy books. And the first one I actually mentioned in my end of the year book tag, I actually mentioned quite a lot of these ones in my end of the year book tag, because these are actually books that I want to finish by the end of the year. And the first one is Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levenseller. I read Daughter of the Pirate King back in July and I absolutely loved it. I loved Princess Elosa, she's your main character. She's just such a strong female character that takes no shit. And I love that. And also there's like a bit of like a mystical magical element to these books too. So I love that aspect as well. And I'm just really excited to see what the second book has to offer. So definitely want to get to this one. Next, also mentioned in my end of the year book tag, The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. I had this one on my November TBR, but I just got so engrossed in finishing a couple of series that I was reading. You guys already saw if you watched my November reading wrap up, I finished the Shatter Me series and the Akatar series. So this one definitely took a back seat and I did not get to it in November. So I moved it to my December TBR and I'm hoping to get to this one because I really want to see what this one is all about. I've heard that it's amazing, but I've also heard some controversial stuff too. So we shall see. Next, also mentioned in my tag video, One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. This one, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. I haven't really looked at reviews or what people are saying about it or heard anybody talking about it in general anyways, but I'm really interested in this one. It is a fantasy and I think it's more on the darker side of fantasy. I'm not entirely sure if it's YA or an adult, but either way, I'm really excited about this one. And this this is actually Rachel Gillig's first book that she's ever written, I think. So I'm very excited to jump on a train that hopefully leads me to an amazing story. And I love a good fantasy. We know this. And then lastly, in the fantasy genre, and also mentioned in my tag video, Light Lark by Alex Astor. This one, I have zero clue what I'm really getting into. I do know that it is about a about a about. <laughs> I can't speak. It's about a like world that basically comes around every 100 years and all of the leaders from each of the different lands compete to the death, I think. I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna see what this one's all about. My friend Melody asked me to give her like a little review once I read this one because she's very interested in it and so am I. So I'm very excited to dig into this one. All right, next, let's go ahead and talk romance books. So basically, I want to finish a series of romances from Miss Colleen Hoover. So I really want to tackle the Hopeless series, which I finally got the new cover at my Walmart here in my town, which is insane. And it's kind of funny because I picked this one up, like this exact book, this exact cover. I picked it up and I walked around with it. And then I was like, you know what? I don't need to buy this book right now I'm going to buy it at a later date so I put it back and I put it back in front of the old covers because I always put things back my mother taught me correctly but I put it back in front of all the old covers the ones with like the girl's face on it and then I came back the next day to actually buy it because I decided I needed it in my life and I found this one literally shoved all the way to the back because I think they were trying to sell all of the old covers first but obviously I picked this one up because if I can buy a book without a face on it, I'm going to do that. So anywho, I found this one. I also have the new cover of Losing Hope. And then I have Finding Cinderella on my Kindle. 
So I'm going to be reading that on my Kindle, as well as Finding Perfect. So that's the last book in the little series and the final novella. And then I have had All Your Perfects, which goes before Finding Perfect. I've had this on my bookshelf for ages now. Like, I don't even remember when I picked it up. It was one of the first books that I bought, but I didn't know that it was part of the Hopeless series. So it's just been sitting there. So now I can finally read it. So very happy about that, but I will be able to actually read three full books and two novellas and complete the entire Hopeless series, which I have heard nothing but good things about. So highly looking forward to that one. All right, last but not least, let's go ahead and talk some Christmas books. I have three that I would like to read this month because I am a person who celebrates Christmas and I just needed some Christmas books. So the first one is one that I've heard some pretty good things about and that is The Christmas Bookshop by Jenny Colgan. It's in like the tiny little airport size, which I love. So if I need to travel with a book, this is probably going to be the one that I take with me just because it's super compact and small. But it's about a bookshop which speaks to a different part of our souls as book people. If you guys know, you know, but I'm very excited to experience this one. Next, I have this book by Carolyn Brown called Just in Time for Christmas. And I don't know why I picked this one up. I haven't heard anything about it, but I saw the book cover with like all the little Christmas cookies and everything and I just thought it was super cute. Kind of reminded me of when I would spend Christmas with my mom. She was always baking during the Christmas season. She would always make peanut brittle and spritz cookies, which I don't know where those like kind of come from. I don't know if they're Swedish or English because that's basically what we are on my mom's side, um, but it's basically all butter. <laughs> so I don't know. But anyways, it just kind of reminded me of my mom's kitchen during Christmas. So I picked it up and I'm hoping that it is fantastic. And then last but not least, I actually got a newer release for this upcoming holiday season and I didn't realize it when I bought it, but I'm very excited about it. And it is Kiss Her Once For Me by Alison Cochran. And it's actually blurbed by Ashley Herring Blake, who wrote Delilah Green Doesn't Care, which by the way, I need to read that book because it sounds fantastic. But Ashley said, the holiday romance of my dreams, a cozy cinnamon scented hug of a book, which I feel like we all need during this season. <laughs> so this one is actually about a girl named Ellie who meets this woman at a bookshop on Christmas Eve and basically falls madly in love with her in like one night. And then some betrayal happens and Ellie's life just kind of goes up in flames, I guess. And like she loses her job and this woman that she fell in love with isn't in her life anymore. And then her landlord kind of presents this opportunity to her to for him to be able to get his inheritance, he needs to get married. And so it's just kind of like a marriage of convenience proposition for her. And she accepts but she goes and meets his family and he introduces her to her his sister who actually happens to be the woman that she fell in love with a year ago. So I have a feeling this is going to be like a spicy, dramatic, rom com -y type of vibe, and I'm very excited for it. So cannot wait to read this one. And I am planning on filming a holiday reading vlog. So let me know in the comments which book you think that I should read for that reading vlog. It could be any of them. It doesn't have to be the Christmas ones, but I have a feeling it's going to be one, if I don't get told by someone else to read one of these books for that video, I think I might read this one just because it's new and I'm really excited about it. So anywho, that's that's it. That's all. Those are all the books that I want to read for the month of December. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, ring the little bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post, and I have hiccups. Yeah. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you all so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye!